guys, it's Lauren coming at you today with her five ways to love yourself video. These are going to be tips to personally love yourself for, you know, with it being the theme for, with it being Valentine's Day this month, I thought this would be a very like, you know, kind of appropriate video. So I'm gonna share my personal five tips to love through your body, mind, soul, heart, and your life. So I hope you do watch, enjoy watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now the first way I like to love myself is to love my body through yoga. Now yoga might not be everyone's cup of tea, but yoga is something that I've always really enjoyed. It's an activity that's not too hard for me, and it's just something that's pretty easy, especially there's many different awkward poses. And with yoga, you know, it's about learning new things about yourself you've never personally learned before, and to learn the true meaning of namaste. Besides the really hip shirts with namaste in bed, which I love mine, because, you know, there are days where you just want to do namaste in bed, but anyways, <laughs> yoga is just an activity I personally really do like, and I'm going to insert a clip of me doing some particular yoga poses that make me overall feel good. way to love yourself is to love through your mind which is I personally love it through meditation so basically meditation you know it's a way of sitting down calming your mind down and just letting it go getting it out of you and just breathing in and out that's it's just getting that stuff out of you and I do personally enjoy meditation I really like using the calm app on my iPod to do it and I love the quotes that you get when you finish the particular meditation. I do about between five to ten minutes almost every morning or at night if you know I can't sleep. I like to do it at night if I can't sleep. So but basically meditation is just overall wonderful and I'm gonna insert a clip of me doing my meditation or getting my arm on. next way to love yourself is to love through your soul which is to read I like to read books and I love to buy myself fresh cut flowers or technically that's two things but hey what what else is gonna be there so my three books that I absolutely love and readings overall really good for me it's a nice way to calm down the first book is the life changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo many of you have heard of this book I personally got this book because I kind of wanted to like you know declutter and organize my room up make it feel more fresh and more clean and this book has amazing wonderful tips for that I personally like it I haven't there's a sequel to this called spark joy which I haven't read yet this particular one I really like because Marie's way of decluttering and organizing is a really good way. I don't really agree with a lot of the tips in her book, but it's a wonderful book to learn how to declutter and organize your life if you want to do that for 2017. So, but this is a great book and I do suggest you pick this up. I got this at Target. The next book I really like is Calm <laughs> by Michael Acton Smith. He's the one that created the app that I just mentioned a few minutes ago. 
And this particular book is just going through mindfulness and how it's really good for our overall health. And there's some really great meditations in there. There's a really good sleep one where you pretend you're on the beach. And I think that's pretty cool because, you know, I really like the beach and what else is new? <laughs> so, but there is really, it's just really good. And I like the fact that this particular string that's st sticking out, this is actually a bracelet you can take off and wear daily, which I think is really cool. And then at the end of, you know, at the end of each page, there's like these little kind of like braille dots. You can fold those up and it's like a 3D thing of the word calm, which I think this is, I think that's pretty cool. But definitely pick this up if you want to get more into mindfulness and meditate, well, mindfulness, meditation. If you want to get more into it and learn more about it, I do suggest picking this up. I got this from Target as well. The next book is by Rick Warren. This is The Purpose Driven Life. And this has taught me the ways of living through God and why am I here on earth? So, but this is kind of more of a different perspective on biblical stuff. And I really do like that particular way about his book. And it's just really, it's just a nice little read to have on hand. And I personally have enjoyed this book. I got this from a friend. And I think this is a great thing to have if you want to learn more about your overall biblical sense of everything. So, and buying fresh cut flowers. I have also enjoyed these ones I got from Trader Joe's. I think these are awesome. These are just amazing. I love to treat myself to them. It's just a nice way to reward yourself if, you know, like you're having a bad day and you just want to feel good on the inside. Just buy yourself some fresh cut flowers. It's like remotely like the best thing. To love your heart is my thing is family, friends, and colleagues. Now, I love my family and I love my friends and I love those that I'm surrounded by. They just make my heart overall feel warm and fuzzy and all the feelings that generate with that fuzziness feeling inside. So that, it's always good to have something that makes your heart feel good on the inside. Besides the tips I've already mentioned, but you know, it's good to have family and friends around. You need family and friends around daily. Like if you're having a terrible day, call them. If you want to go for a walk with them, do it. You know, just do that. <laughs> and the love of your life is to travel and try new things. Now I'm one of those people that likes to stay in the bubble and doesn't like to get out of the bubble. <laughs> Basically, I kind of stay in my own kind of comfort zone. I don't really branch out and try new things. And that's something that I really want to accomplish maybe with this upcoming year. Basically, you know, trying new things. One example of me trying something new is I've always wanted to jump out of an airplane. I have had a cousin that has jumped out of an airplane and I think she's like a total girl boss for jumping out of an airplane. And I thought that was pretty cool when she did it. She did it several years ago. I don't remember which year it was, but she did. And I think that's pretty awesome. And that's something that I would like to do to get out of my comfort zone and to travel. Obviously my dream place is England. I have had a cousin that's went there for her church. I think that's insanely awesome. And I'm highly jealous because England is my bucket list place. I've always wanted to go to and yeah. That's pretty much everything for this particular video today. I hope you enjoyed watching. If I haven't said this already, be sure to like and subscribe for more fun videos. If you weren't aware, it's only monthly videos now. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to love yourself for Valentine's Day. It's hugely important. Bye.